solve this problem 25 raised to the power x plus 5 raised to the power x equals to 20. From here, we can write 25 as well as 5 squared, then raised to the power x plus 5 raised to the power x equals to 20. And uh, from here as well, we can take x inside and take 2 outside from law of indices. And this will become 5 raised to the power x, then raised to the power 2 plus 5 raised to the power x equals to 20. Now, here, the next step, we have 5 raised to the power x, 5 raised to the power x. Let a letter t be equal to 5 raised to the power x. And we can write this again by replacing 5 raised to the power x with t. And we have t squared here plus t then equals to 20. So the next step, we use this to form a quadratic equation by taking 20 to this side. So this becomes 20 squared plus t squared rather plus t, then bring 20 here, that's minus 20 equals to 0. And from here, this is a quadratic equation. We can factorize this and this will give us t squared plus 5t minus 4t minus 20 equals to 0 because plus 5t minus 4t will give us t and when we multiply it we get minus 20 now from here when we group this one two two so the first two here what is common is t we factor it out we have t into bracket t, t left here then plus 5 then what is common here is minus 4, then t left here, then plus 5 as well, equals to 0. So we have t plus 5, t plus 5 common. We take it out, and this will give us t plus 5, then multiply by t minus 4, which is equal to 0. So we have two possible cases here. We have t plus 5 is equal to 0. Or we have t minus 4 equals to 0. Now, from here, t is equals to minus 5. And from here, t is equals to 4. And the value of t from here is 5 raised to the power x. So let's bring 5 raised to the power x. And we have 5 raised to the power x equals to minus 5. And the value of 5 raised to the power x is positive, And this is negative. So here, we cannot have a solution here. And uh, from this side, we have 5 raised to the power x equals to 4. t is 5 raised to the power x. And uh, to find the value of x, let's take the log on both sides. And we have log 5 raised to the power x equals to log 4. And uh, from here, the law, of in, the law of log reading, we can take x to this to the back here and we have x log 5 will be equals to log 4 from the law of log reading and uh, since we are finding the value of x we can divide both sides by log 5 so divide this side by log 5 and divide this side by log 5 so that log 5 will cancel log 5 and we have x equals to log 5 4 over log 5 and uh, from here let's write log 4 again as log 2 raised to power 2 so we have x equals to log 2 raised to power 2 over log 5 and also these two can be taken to the back here so as to simplify so we have x equals to 2 log 2 then over log 5 and uh, log 2, the value of log 2 is equals to 0 0.301. That's log 2. And log 5 is equals to 0 0.699. So when we put these values here to find the value of x, so we have x equals to 2 multiplied by 0 0.301, then divided by log 5 which is 0 0.699 so when we simplify this 
this will give us x equals to 0 0.858 so this is approximate value of x from this problem when we substitute this value of x into the equation we are given which is 25 raised to power x plus 5x plus 5 raised to power x equals to 20 now the value we got which is x equals to 0 0.858 will give us an approximate solution so this side will be approximately 20 and that's the end of this problem thank you for watching also subscribe to this channel for more of our videos thank you see you in the next class and bye for now